what's up guys welcome back to the part five of the tower defense game in scratch today we're going to be working on the turret one and actually and actually implementing it into the game so far what we have is a path balloons that follow and a shop that shows a description of your first turret so let's get started the first thing we need to do is create a new sprite and we're going to upload a costume and this costume is something i've already made it's called turret one and easily recreatable just like that and yeah let's get started so the first thing we need to do is go into the code and we're gonna say when I receive by turret one and remember we are broadcasting that here we're gonna say when I receive by turret one set a new variable and this is gonna be a private variable that's very important it's gonna be called the clone ID and the reason we need this is because we're gonna have several different types of clones in this sprite so it's important to keep track of which one you're actually creating. So we're going to set this to the turret one itself. And we're going to say create clone of myself. Then what we need to do is say when I start as clone. And then we're going to check if, and we're going to bring in an equals. We're going to say if the clone ID is equal to turret one. Uh, so clone ID is equal to the same value. Then what we can do is switch the costume and this will become important later on, but we're gonna switch the costume to the tur turret one. We're gonna wait until, which is in control, and then we're going to bring in a not from operators. And then the next thing to do is to bring in the mouse down. And then after that, we're going to say repeat until you have clicked and we're going to go to the mouse pointer. So, so far, let's see what this does. So if we click here, it creates one and it follows. However, if you click, it stops, but we do have a couple of problems. First of all, you can place one in here, in the path, which shouldn't be allowed. And second of all, we have this starter sprite that's actually spawning the clones. So to fix the second issue, that's very easy. We go to when flag is clicked and we simply say hide. And then we say, when I start as clone, we can show. And we're going to do that for all the clones. So we'll put it in a separate one. The next thing we need to do, like I said, is make sure that we're not touching the path. So we're going to say, if, and then we're going to go into sensing and drag in the touching color. And we're going to pick that brown that we've chosen. We're going to then delete this clone uh, right here and change the money after so assuming we haven't put it on the path we want to change the money by negative 40 because this costs 40 so as you can see if we start and we choose it and we put it on the path it'll delete and it won't subtract your money however if we do put it somewhere it will reduce your money by 40. the next thing to do is to make bullets start to appear so first of all we need to create a costume for the bullets let's go in here create a new costume It'll be a circle and it should be pretty small like that. And the center, the fill should be the same blue that we used before. So that's gonna be there. And then what we want to do is in our turret clone forever, wait one second, right? To spawn the bullets set the clone ID to bullet or turret one bullet, right? Because we might have multiple types of bullets or multiple turrets in this clone itself. So again, it's important to keep track. And then what we're going to do is um, create the clone of myself. Now, the next thing to do that's important is to create another variable. We're gonna call this clone direction or we'll call it turret direction. And the reason this is important is because in the future, we're gonna be able to change the direction of the turrets. Right now, they're all facing this one direction to the right, but in the future, we want the bullets to follow whichever direction the turret is facing. So we need to keep that stored. We are going to say set clone or turret direction to our current direction, which we can get in the motion section. The next thing we need to do is create the actual clone of myself. And again, that's gonna be here. And we've already done that, I forget. Um, but 
we want to do a repeat. And this is going to be a little animation that I think is really cool. So the first thing we're going to do is drag in a move negative one steps. And then we're just going to duplicate this. And we are going to change this to two and two and change this to one. So it'll be kind of like a knockback effect when you shoot out the new bullet. And that's something that I think looks really cool in the game itself. So the next thing we need to do is drag in a when I start as clone. Again, we're going to choose that, whoops, that same if. And we're going to say this time, we can drag this and duplicate it. We can say if the clone ID is turret one bullet, and then this is where we can do the code for the bullet. And what we're going to say is switch costume now to the turret one bullet, which is in costume one. Let's rename that to turret one bullet, just like that. Switch costume to the bullet costume, point in the direction. And we're going to, as you may guess, use the direction that we stored in that variable called turret direction. The next thing we want to do is repeat until and we're going to say or because there are multiple things so we're going to say repeat until touching edge whoops yeah there we go sorry about that repeat until touching edge or touching the balloon we want to move 10 steps and so this is going to control the movement of the clone itself now once we have touched either the edge or the balloon and make sure to change that what we want to do is create some kind of animation so we're gonna drag in a repeat two times we're going to say move two steps because it's gonna go slower now that it's collided with something change ghost effect uh, yep change ghost effect by 50 and change size by negative 4 and then we are going to delete this clone. So let's see how that looks. So we haven't tested this so far. Let's see if it works. We can put this down. And as you can see, it starts to shoot out the bullets. And they're deleting. One thing to notice here is that the bullets are way too large. So let's go in and make them a lot smaller. Bring them to the middle. And then change the outline to 3. And let's see how that looks. So we can bring this here. Let's see if it shoots out. Let's increase it to four. There we go. And as you can see, the bullets are deleting once they hit the balloon. So in the balloon itself, what we want to do is bring in a new script. We are going to say when flag is clicked, or when I start as clone, actually, because these are all clones, forever, if, and then as you may guess, touching our bullet, which is going to be sprite four, repeat two times, and that's gonna be in uh, control. We're gonna change the ghost effect once again in looks. So change ghost effect by 30, and then also change the size by negative 10. And this will do another cool animation. And the important thing is to delete the clone after. So if we've touched the bullet in the balloon, we want to delete. So let's see how that looks. If I add a new turret, it starts to shoot these out. And as you can see, they both do this really cool animation and delete the clone. So that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next time, we're going to continue to work on the turret and implementing the money system. All right, that's going to be it. See you guys next time. Leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.